Hey there. Welcome to LSAT Demon Daily. I'm Ben Olson. That's Nathan Fox. Together we're the founders of LSATdemon.com and our weekly podcast, Thinking LSAT. We have an email here from Sia. Yep. Hey, Ben and Nathan. My name is Sia. I'm a longtime LSAT Demon user and a huge fan of you both. Wow, thanks. I took the LSAT in November 2020 after studying for several months with the Demon and got a 170. I had initially started at 152, so it was a big improvement, and I was thrilled. I continued studying to see if I could improve and started scoring somewhat consistently in the 171 to 172 range. Wow, that's very narrow. I retook the test in January and got a 167. I was disappointed, but my GPA is strong, 3.86, so I figured I should stop while I was at it. No. What? (laughs) What? If you have a high GPA, that means you need a better LSAT even more so that you can go play in the very biggest of the big leagues. Do yeah. not give up on the LSAT just because you have a good GPA. That's tragic. Yeah. yeah. See, it continues. I had planned to apply this cycle. So it's November right now. I had a plan. I had planned to apply this cycle, but I am still in school and I and didn't start on my applications till the beginning of October. After hours of listening to the podcast, I could not get Nathan's voice out of my head telling me to apply in September. He wins. Yes, period. I'm waiting. Period. Yes. <laughs> With the extra time, I'm wondering if you guys think it would be a good idea for me to start studying and try to take the test again. Yes. No shit. Yes. I would love to see if I can break 170, especially as top schools got significantly more competitive in this last cycle. Yes, they did. I learned to love the test and I and honestly miss doing logic games. But I wonder if it's a good use of my time to start it up again, given I have already taken it twice and I'm a bit out of practice. Look, if you don't make progress, if you don't ever break 170, then nothing's going to happen to your application. But if you do, a lot of things are going to happen. So yes, it's absolutely worth the time. And What else are you doing with your time? It is the most valuable use of your time if you want to go to law school and... Go it's the free. beginning of your legal career. It's the foundation of your legal career. It's like, okay, you're going to try to score. Do you want to start at bat? <laughs> or do you want to start at first base? Or do you want to start at second base? Or do you want to start at third base? Yeah. And a few more LSAT points. I mean, from a 167, <clears throat> and you know that you already are for sure capable of 171, 172. Because you have practice test scores that show that clearly. And you probably could get even higher than that. And this is a thousand percent just no brainer, Sia. Yes, I'm glad you took my advice to wait and apply at the beginning of the next cycle. Between now and then, you should be busting your ass on the law school admission test. A few more points is going to start you. It's just you're starting off in a so much of a better position. I couldn't agree more. Um, She says, I'm not sure where I would start studying or how long or how long I should plan for. I would love to hear your thoughts. Look, you're not getting all the questions right. Yeah. So where do you start? You do a timed section or you drill. It doesn't matter, but you can start with a timed section. And when you finish that 35 minutes, you start looking at the questions that you got wrong, or in your case, you may even just start looking at the questions that you weren't sure of. You may not even look to see which questions you got right or wrong. You just say, hey, look, I wasn't sure about 21. I wasn't sure about 24. Okay. Can you unpack them now? Can you figure them out and then look at the ones you got wrong and unpack those as well? That's where you start until you can start getting more and more of these correct in a time section. That's always the name of the game. There's a How lot long? you don't understand at 167. There's a lot you, you didn't understand because some of those you got, I mean, you missed a bunch of them, but you also got a bunch of them, right. You know, half guessing and there's, you could go deeper. Just yeah. Dig in every single question you miss. Every question. Yeah. Just figure it out. And then pretty soon you're going to start getting more correct per section, which is going to lead to a higher score. And then you, when do you take it? Well, when your practice test scores are mid one seventies, sign up. Start with any question, Sia. 
go to lsatdemon.com, Resubscribe. click on drill, and get a question right. Yep. And if you struggle with it or if you miss it, then read the explanations, watch the videos, use the ask button. You can get you you could be working on the LSAT super efficiently 30 seconds from now. Yeah. It's not hard. Go to the demon, click drill, and you'll be doing it. But you just you don't need to decide. You don't need to strategize. You don't need to think about how long it's going to take. You don't need to make some grand plan. You need to get back on the horse. The way you get back on the horse is by doing any LSAT question. And the demon is designed for you to go to it, click drill, and start doing it. You can also do timed sections. You can also do full practice tests. And you can come to classes if you want. But what you really need to do is just stop strategizing and do a fucking LSAT question. And it literally 15 seconds. LSATdemon.com, log in, click drill, boom. You're going. And that's all you need to do, Sia, because there's lots that you don't understand. And demon drilling is going to get at those weaknesses very efficiently. Yeah, well, <laughs> all I was going to say is this is what I, I love so much about where our business has gone. Both you and I taught full-length courses before the pandemic. And it was like people were signing up for classes, right? And those classes went for two months, three months, whatever. And now the demon is just like, sign up for a month, work on it for a month. If your score goes up to where you want it to go and you want to take the test, take the test. If you need another month, then you take another month. You, you don't have to make this grand decision. You just decide as you learn information. Yeah. What level as you of get subscription better. should I pick? Doesn't yeah. really matter because you can go up and down anytime. Just email help at lsatdemon.com and they'll sort you out. And if you have any problems and yeah, just pick a demon subscription and start working on it. Yep. Um, and you know, Sia, you've only taken it twice. You have three more shots. <laughs> yeah, you have three more attempts between now and September. You shouldn't be thinking about one more attempt. You should be thinking about three more attempts. Yep. And you should be applying in early September to a dozen schools or more. And you'll be applying with a 170 something. But you got to get on. You got to get back on the horse like right now. Yeah. You know, I hope the next time you take it, you get a 174 or 176 or even higher or whatever. But Let's say you get a 169. Like Nathan just said, you have three attempts. You have the time to get a higher score. You should keep trying. Because if you get, even if you get a 172, bam, things are different. Oh, go to lsatdemon.com slash scholarships. Put in your 3.86 and your 167. See what kinds of offers you might get. Then bump that up to 171. And watch the watch the offers change. Yep. Bump it up to 175 and watch the offers change. Your GPA is going to potentially open the doors to the very best law schools in the world. Your LSAT right now isn't getting it done at some of those same schools. Yeah. So you need to be competitive at the top, top, top schools, Sia. You need five, six, seven, maybe more LSAT points. And it's time to get to work. Yeah. She has one last paragraph. She says, also, I know this may be a long shot, but after I get back into the groove of studying, I would absolutely love to be part of the demon team, helping to write explanations or whatever may be needed. I already recommend it to everyone I know. Thanks in advance. We love hiring our listeners and our LSAT demon students. Right now, though, Sia, you're not qualified. Um, yep. We require 170 something. You're you're not good enough at the LSAT to write explanations for LSAT demon. You're good, but you're not that good. If you were that good, you'd be scoring 175. Get back into the groove, one question at a time. Really master this test. Send us an official score report with a 99th percentile LSAT score. And then we would love to talk to you about bringing you on board. Yeah. I mean, if you want to help with admin, then I guess you can start there. Some people have transferred right from admin to 
the more substantive work once they've got their scores in. If so. we're hiring admin help right now, which I don't know if we are. I don't know either. But email <laughs> help at lsatdemon.com and we'll go from there. Ask them if they need help. Yep. At help at lsatdemon.com. Maybe they do. Cool. Email daily at lsatdemon.com if you'd like to ask us a question or share some law LSAT or law school admissions news. Thanks for listening. <laughs>